Italian wedding soup. It's a common misconception that it's named because it's served at weddings. It's actually named because it's the marriage of ingredients that make it delicious. We begin with the signature ingredient of the soup, tiny meatballs. I make fresh breadcrumbs from sliced bread with just a few seconds in a food processor. This helps to make them more tender than if you use dried breadcrumbs and add flavor and structure to the ground turkey. You can also use ground chicken or beef by adding Parmesan cheese, the fresh breadcrumbs, chopped fresh parsley, egg, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and stir it all together well. Then use a scoop or a tablespoon to shape evenly sized meatballs. Place them on a lined sheet pan about an inch or so apart, and then bake them for just 10 minutes so that they're set but not cooked through. For the broth, Heat olive oil in a large stock pot and add the chopped onion, salt, and pepper. Stir it and let the onion soften and then add the chopped garlic. Stir it again and allow the garlic to heat through and become fragrant. And then you're gonna add the chicken stock and turn the heat to high. Once it comes to a boil, add the pasta and the partially baked meatballs. Stir well and set a timer for seven minutes. To serve it up, I like to fill soup bowls with a handful of fresh spinach leaves and then pour the hot broth and the meatballs on top of it to wilt it nicely and it retains its beautiful green color. Then sprinkle with a little grated Parmesan cheese and some chopped parsley and dig in. And I hope you don't mind me saying, it's a match made in heaven. You can find this recipe and many more at homewithshay.com. Shay Ryan, ABC Action News.